Chad here with Doug Lacey's Basement Systems. Welcome everybody to the Basement E-Tip of the Week. Today we are going to talk about thermal drywall. Um, thermal drywall is actually a roll. It comes as a roll. It's this nice uh, tinfoil chrome looking wall. It does actually look like a bubble wrap. Um, the tinfoil is on both sides, but it is very, very strong. Some people might have this actually around their hot water tank. But what we use it for at Basement Systems is we actually use it as a wall drainage. So it'll actually go up right beside your concrete wall. So of course if any water comes in through a crack or any water comes in through the tie holes or a pipe, it can drain down behind the thermal wall and it will actually go straight into our water guard system. So this goes actually straight to the wall. We will mechanically fasten it to the wall with anchors and then of course cement the water guard back in. The thermal wall will actually in a roundabout way keep your basement warmer it'll actually reflect 97 percent of the heat and keep that in your basement so you're not actually absorbing the water or the the air to the cold wall so by wrapping the entire house you're actually keeping it warmer at the same time it's great for finished basements because of course by putting the insulation on after and then finishing it you're just tripling it up or even without a finished basement but the thermal wall is a great add-on to a system because it will actually take the warranty from the floor level all the way up to the top of the, the grade level. And that's the best part, we only actually have to go to grade. So if your grade is four feet, we only have to go four feet high or a little higher. If your grade is six feet high, we'll go six feet high. So um, I hope you all enjoyed the basement tip of the week this week, week on thermal dry wall and uh, hope to see you next week.